going on everyone i'm back here with another quick video for you guys and in this video i'm going to be showing how to enable and disable uh, wi-fi and bluetooth without using control center um, so as we all know control center in ios 11 and ios 12 uh, no longer lets us physically disable and enable wi-fi and bluetooth uh, directly from the control center so effectively what apple is making you do is you have to go into the settings application manually to turn off um, either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, um, which now in Control Center, the only option that is given is to disconnect Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, which the majority of us, including myself, um, I don't think that's what we want to do. Um, I really think that if you're going to toggle Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you're wanting to toggle it physically on and off. You don't want to just disconnect it. So um, that has been one of my pet peeves with iOS 11 and 12, something that I have never liked. <laughs> it's been a really, really annoying thing to deal with uh, but thankfully there is a little bit of a workaround uh, with the release of iOS 12. For some of us we may already know how to do this uh, but this video is specifically for those that don't already know how to do this uh, workaround. So let's go ahead and let me unlock the phone here okay so what you need to do is make sure that your device is running iOS 12 um, otherwise this will not work and it does not matter which device iOS device you're using you can be using an iOS device all the way back to the iPhone 5S, um, as long as you are running iOS 12. So, first thing you need to do is you need to locate the shortcuts application you can see right here. Um, you do have to download this from the App Store. It is not pre-installed on the device. So you have to go into the App Store, search for uh, shortcuts, and then download it. So once you have downloaded the shortcuts application, uh, basically all you have to do is open it up, and then you're presented with this screen here that allows you to effectively add toggles and various switches for system functions uh, and various system applications, um, which is a super really useful feature. And you can also use this particular application for um, other features and toggles as well. You don't have to just use it for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Um, but I, I might make another video going more in-depth with the shortcuts application in the future. Um, but anyway, for this video, I'm going to be just showing Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Um, as you can see here, I have already created uh, four toggles for those particular actions. Um, so, But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and show how to create one. So if we go hit the plus icon in the top right corner, uh, you're then presented with this screen to locate a particular function you want to add. So in this case... Uh, we want to add Wi-Fi to the list to toggle. So if we search uh, Wi-Fi here, you can see right there, you want to click the middlemost option that says Set Wi-Fi. So if you tap on that, you'll then bring up this little icon here. And you want to make sure that the switch is in the on position if you want to turn it on. And then if you want it to turn the Wi-Fi off, you need to make sure that the switch is turned off. So that's why you have to make multiple... Um, toggles uh, to be able to get this to work correctly. So in this case, we're going to toggle that off. Switch off, okay. So, and then from there, we can then continue to customize this action further uh, to m personalize it to kind of however you want it to look. So if you hit this little icon over here next to the share button, you're then given the option to name the shortcut. So this one, we're just going to name, let's delete that, we're going to name it Wi-Fi, done. Okay, and then you can change the icon. So if we tap on icon, you can change the color. So um, blue in this case is fine. Um, but in my case, actually green is, or excuse me, red is the more relevant option uh, because if you're gonna turn something off, red is usually the indicating color for that particular toggle. Um, so I guess, yeah, let's just go ahead and do red for this particular demonstration. And then right here, you can choose an icon that best reflects the action that you're wanting to do. So in this case, uh, I'm t going to be turning something on and off. So I'm going to use this little symbol here that looks like a power indicator. So if I click that, you can see it changes to a power indicator. And then we have home screen, which basically this just is allowing you to customize the home screen icon, uh, which is something you can do. You can add uh, the icon to your home screen to toggle it from there as well, if that is your preference. 
Um, and then we have a few other settings down here. So you can add it to Siri, so you can specifically tell Siri to do this action, which Siri actually already has this built in, so there's no need to do that. Um, then we have Show in Widget, uh, which is actually, in this case, some, uh, what we want to do. So you want to make sure that is turned on. And then we have Show in Share Sheet, which I really don't have any use for that, for this particular toggle, but some other toggles may be useful for that. And then we have Add to Home Screen and Share. And then we have Import Options, which we don't need to worry about for, for this particular item. Anyway, so once you have customized your toggle, uh, you can then hit Done, and then hit Done again. And then we can see here, the toggle has then been added to the list of actions that can be performed. So once you do that, and then let's jump out of the application and then go over to our widget section. So if we scroll way down to the bottom, hit edit, and you need to add the shortcuts widget, as you can see right there. Uh, so you add that, and then go to the widget itself, and you can probably you can place it wherever you want. In my case, I like to have it more towards the top because that's the most easiest position for it to be and quick for the quickest access, I guess. Um, but anyway, so there you go. And you can see right now, Wi-Fi is indeed turned on, as you can see up in the status bar. But once I click this icon, there you go. And you can see we have now switched to LTE. And if I go into the control center, you can see Wi-Fi has now been physically disabled. And if you want to re-enable it, you can either tap the Wi-Fi icon in the control center itself, or you can create a toggle within shortcuts to do the same exact thing. So we can turn Wi-Fi on from the same exact widget, go drop down again, and you can see Wi-Fi is now turned on again. And then same thing goes for Bluetooth. So if I want to disable Bluetooth, tap Bluetooth, and then there we go. It has disabled Bluetooth. Once again, go into the control center, and now uh, Bluetooth is physically disabled. So that is a probably the best way of physic best and quick way rather of turning Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off specifically turning it off without the control center because of the fact that control center no longer functions the way it did in iOS 10 so anyway that's basically it for this video and I hope it helped you guys out and helped a lot of people that wanted a quicker access to turning on and off um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, so it's really nice that there is now a bit of a workaround. And yeah, anyway, so hope this video helped you guys out once again. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below. It is really greatly appreciated. Uh, hit the thumbs up button as well. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying my content. And comment below if you guys are having any issues or need help or anything of such. Just drop those down below and I'll try to help you guys the best as I can. And yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.